Now, here's a case. Sorry about that weird recording. Here's a case where I could multiply three tenths by five and get fiftieths, and two fifths by ten and get fiftieths. And those are pretty large numbers. But what I noticed though is that I can make five into tenths. So if I can do that, I don't need to change tenths. I can do less work. So watch this. I'm going to take two fifths. And I'm going to multiply it. How many times do I have to multiply it to get tenths? So five, ten, two times. So I'm going to multiply two fifths by two over two. And then I just multiply straight across. So two times two is four. Five times two is 10. Now I have two fractions with equal denominator, so I can add them. So now all I have to do is take three tenths plus four tenths equals seven tenths. So what was nice is that I didn't have to change both fractions, okay? And one last thing I want to show you is that this method is basically the math version of the area model. So if you had two fifths, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and I colored in fifths, and you turn that into tenths, watch what you're doing. You're splitting both the numerator and the denominator into two new pieces, right? So you're taking the two fifths and splitting it into two new spots. So that's what the math is showing. It's saying two fifths split into two new pieces makes four tenths. So this is this. It's just one's a picture version, one's a multiplication version.